Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Bit of overcast here today, but I uh, figured I'd duck out and record a video for you guys, for the ones that are interested, uh, before the rains come. So, as you can see, this is our Model X. So, this video, I'm going to tell you guys all about it. I will be 100% transparent with absolutely everything, and if you guys have any questions at all, drop it in the comment box below. So, uh, yeah, let's, let's give you guys a run through, walk around of the car, and then let's start to talk about the finer details as we go for a drive. So, let's what variant did we buy? So, this is a 2020 Model X Long Range. Uh, I think it was either May or July built. Um, it was pretty much towards the middle of 2020. And in terms of search, so these cars were built, I think, towards the end of 2020. I haven't seen any 2021 models myself, but um, happy to be corrected. But from what I could find, uh, 2020 seems to be the last variance. And uh, this was possibly uh, a couple of months prior to them stopping production um, for the Model X's. So, yeah, 2020 Model X long range. Uh, this is a seven seater variant. I'll go through the details on why I didn't go with a five or a six seater um, shortly, but this is a seven seater variant. Now the rains are literally just about to start. So we'll just quickly go through a couple of things and then um, let's get driving and I'll talk to you guys more. So first things first is this is the key. Now I've got a key cover on it. Um, it essentially is just a normal black key. Uh, the, it, this key is different to the Model 3 and the Model Y because this here actually allows you to open the uh, falcon wing doors as well um, so on the back basically in terms of how you use it actually I'll flip the camera around so if you push this button twice you'll see that the boot opens and then if you push these side buttons where I've got the silver bit here twice that opens the falcon wing doors so I'll push that twice and I'll push the other side twice as well just so you guys can see and then if you push the front bit twice uh, that opens up the front so just look over here so push it twice so you see that pops open. Now that isn't automatic, so that can't close through the remote. However, all of the rest can close through the remote. Um, now normally lock, you push this once and you push it twice to unlock on the key fob over here. If you actually click it three times, they all close with exception to the front. So if you pop it three times, one, two, three. So there you guys have it. We'll need to manually close the front but actually at the same time let's give you guys the tour so this is the front space so you can see it is really big very deep storage as well in terms of comparison to the model y i'd say this is probably at least 1.5 times bigger than the model y but uh yeah that's essentially the front so we'll close that jump around to the side now for these doors you basically just push on that and then it pops out and so that's basically how the inside looks excuse my camera gear over there but that's just a quick look for you guys and this one does have the wood grain trim not a massive fan of it personally but you get what you get there's nothing else i could find and i'll talk to you guys more about uh, the specs and everything else shortly um, now this one does have uh, i think it was called the premium interior side um, package so basically you can actually control it from here so if i just pull that that actually just closes itself and then the falcon wing doors just push that button to open here so quite a lot of space you can see through there and then third row two seats as well I've got one seat down at the moment just for storage but that's a third row and then let's have a look at the boot uh, also closing button so that's to extend it all the way sometimes depending on uh, where you are or if it senses something it might not open all the way but if you want to you can push that and that one just closes that so let's jump around to the boot so let's get that opened up All right, jumping around to the boot, that's basically all your storage there. So 
seven seats, six, seven seats in the third row. Jumping down, got stuff already inside there. It's pretty much full or half full. And uh, there is no side storage here like you have the bigger storage bins uh, for the Model Y. So there's none of that over here too. All right, starting to sprinkle outside. So let's talk about the car. So as I said, this is a 2020 Tesla Model X long range. Um, now, basically it was either called standard range or 75D for the base spec, then there's the long range and then there's the performance. Usually I'd obviously always go for the performance, but it literally came down to um, money and being able to find one um, at the end of the day. So once I kind of go through the specs of what I purchased and why, you guys will probably start to understand. So anyway, 2020 long range Model X, this is a seven seater version. Um, the Model Xs did come in five, six and seven seats. Um, this one here is a seven seater. The reason why I went with seven seats is because um, A, I probably do need to take seven people around in total. Um, and B, in terms of the six seats, uh, with the six seat configuration in the middle row, you have the two, I guess, captain chairs, if that's what you're gonna call it. Um, and those seats actually don't recline at all. So they're fixed like sort of like a L shape. So you sit your back like that and your um, backside and your legs out like that. And the whole seat moves sort of like that. Um, and it moves forward so you guys can get to the back or you go around um, through the middle row because it's six seats. It doesn't actually move like that. So you can't actually recline it. So um, from my side of things, I felt wanted a bit more adjustment um, in that regard. And so seven seats it was. Um, so color, midnight silver metallic. Unfortunately or fortunately, it is the same color as our Model Y performance. Um, yeah, we didn't have much choice because this was the only one, but yeah, midnight silver metallic color again. It is a uh, black interior. And as you may have seen before, we've got the wood grain along the side as well, or the fake, I actually don't even know if it's real wood or fake wood, but you know, that's that's what it is. It is a wood grain trim, um, black interior. It does have suede or Alcantara, or at least that type of material, I guess from, from I guess, eye, uh, arm level and up, that's pretty much all lined. And it is really, really nice. Uh, what else? So we've covered off. It's 2020 long range Model X, seven seats, uh, price. I know you guys definitely keen on the price. So I paid low 90s for it. Um, yeah, low 90s. Uh, and the reason why it is, uh, look, there was a bit of, there was a little bit of cosmetic damage around the car. I've had pretty much most of it fixed up already. But even then, um, I'm still way far ahead compared to, I guess, the ones that are for sale. So as I said, uh, low 90s in terms of the price I paid. Now I'll give you guys a comparison. So I've put an overlay of the 2020 models, even some 2019s of how much they're listed for. Now just be mindful that when you guys are buying a used car, list price versus actual sale price is always different. However, if you look at the market price and what people are listing at, um, that kind of gives you an indication of what people are asking for in terms of this car. So uh, yeah. I'll list, I'll put a couple of those up and hopefully that gives you guys the idea of um, what these cars are actually worth compared to what I bought, bought it for. Uh, in terms of kilometers, um, this car here had, I think about 72 or 73,000 kilometers um, when we bought it. And we've done, I think just over 1,100 Ks now. It's got 74,000 something. Um, so yeah, with the long range, it is also a 100D or it's a 100 kilowatt hour battery and it is all wheel drive. Um, so yeah, all right, so we've gone through what the car is, how much I've paid, how many kilometers on it. I've shown you guys roughly what some of the other cars in the market are looking for. Um, let's talk more about this car itself. So I couldn't actually find a lot of information about this car. I guess that's what I just want to preface to say. So there's two people, I guess I really want to give a shout out and a big thank you to. And I don't even know if they watch YouTube or they watch my channel or not. But on X, there is someone called Pablo's Broke. I think it's Pablo's Broke Dog or Pablo's Broke. Either way, um, I don't even actually know his name. I just know him as his username. So anyway, on X, um, that's him. Uh, he recently did also buy a Mod Lex and it was thanks to some of his insights and thoughts um, which helped me buy this car. The other person that helped a lot and by a lot I probably meant um, probably pushed me over the line um, 
in terms of being able to buy this. Uh, Jack, you know who you are. Um, for privacy reasons, I won't say your surname, but Jack, thank you very much to you um, for giving all your insights about this car. And Jack is another fellow owner as well. Um, but anyways, back onto this car. So there is not a lot of information and I could not find anywhere and even Tesla themselves could not help me and tell me what options were available on every single year. So I'm going to break it down for you guys. Actually, um, I'll give you the quick summary, but I'll probably have a separate video on everything about the Model X and I guess the whole purchase process. Um, so Anyways, uh, in the earlier years, they actually had a different type of seat. This type of seat is probably more on the uh, later versions or the later variations. Uh, this one does not have cooling seats. This has heated seats only. Some of the earlier ones did have cooling seats as well. All right, so let's have a look at some options. So I'm gonna flip the camera around and I'm gonna show you the additional vehicle information, which gives you, I guess, a good indication of some of the options that I had on uh, this car here. So, uh, hopefully you guys can see that. So, air suspension type. Uh, this one is adaptive, which means that um, it, you can set on auto and it either uh, stiffens or softens and it adjusts as you go. So, it's really, really cool. I'll show you guys that more um, in another video or I'll show you a bit of it in a moment. Audio. So, this is premium audio. It does have FSD. It does have the CCS um, upgrade so it can do um, fast charging up to I think it's roughly 130 or 135 kilowatts also has the cold weather package which means heated steering wheel and wiper heaters as well it also has garage door opener home link um, it also has the upgraded uh, what do we call it the upgraded CPU so Intel Atom and then uh, what else is there it's also got the towing package now I think towing package was set as standard in the later years in 2019 or maybe it was just 2020 um, but prior to that that was an option as well so yeah we've got FSD as well um, so it'd be really exciting for me to show you guys what that all looks like in a car that's currently four years old now I'm just going to finish this video so I don't take too long and I'll cover it in some additional videos um, I just want to tell you guys what else um, I considered instead of this car and also what cars it replaced so as you guys know Kia Carnival is sold Volkswagen Golf R is sold then we had the Model Y uh, this car was what we purchased instead what cars w were I considering look I will be 100% honest with you guys there was a sports car it, there was an ice sports car that I was looking at very 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 close to pulling the trigger um, and then we did absolutely consider the EV9, um, there were quite a few brand new GT lines, EV9 GT lines, and even um, demos that were going for roughly, uh, I think 110 to 120 off the top of my head. Um, but I really couldn't do it with the side mirrors. And I'll put a picture up actually, I'll put a picture up. I think this was about five or six years ago, if not even longer than that. This is me in the shopping center looking at a Model X. Um, I've actually wanted this car for a very long time. Purely for one thing, guys. The Falcon Wing doors. Yes, some people may think it's gimmicky. Some people may think it's horrible. Some people may think it's the worst design in the world. But you know what? Personal preference. Everyone is absolutely entitled to an opinion. I absolutely love the Falcon Wing doors. Um, and it was one of those things, right? We don't currently get the latest Model X here in Australia. And who knows, right? They need to develop the whole steel by wire apparently um, in order to even have a possibility of coming to Australia. So at this point in time, we still don't have it. And so as this car gets older, um, it started to get to the point of going, am I ever going to own one? Am I going to have any regrets not owning one? And so my view is, if, if we came across the right car, let's buy it. Um, I, I can tell you up front, this is not a forever car. Um, I don't know how many years I'll be keeping it. It could be six months if we don't enjoy it anymore. It could be three years, four years, I don't know. Um, but at this point in time, um, we're going to enjoy this car. I'm going to detail as much as I can. If you guys have anything in particular you guys want to know about this car, um, let me know. I'm more than happy to create content for you guys because I want to share um, 
my purchase process and everything in, in the coming uh, weeks. And if there's anything you guys want to know, I'll be more than happy sharing. I know it's a car that's not common. Um, and I know that uh, sales have been slower for this car. Um, so yeah, as I said, I'll be totally transparent with you guys. If there's anything you guys want to know, drop it in the comment box below. I'll be more than happy to answer that. Um, but yeah, mainly it was a sports car that I was considering. It was the EV9. Did I consider the LDV MIFA 9 at all? Um, that's pure EV. No, I did not for one reason. That car looked like it was the same size, if not bigger than our Kia Carnival, but it had so much less space. Um, I saw it at the Everything Electric show, there was one there. When I opened up the boot, it looked like it had extremely, extremely limited space there. And so that's not something that I wanted. Um, I already know that I've been able to fit two kids' bikes in our boot right now as a five-seater. Um, and even if it was as a seven-seater, even though there's limited space in the boot like your traditional SUVs, the front is massive in this car. So skip back to the front of this video um, if you guys want to have a look at that front space again. But it is absolutely amazing. Um, and look, I think that's it, guys. We've covered off what the car is, how much I paid, how many kilometers on the car, some of the interior features. There's absolutely going to be so much more content coming with this car and some other cool and quirky things about the car and things I don't like and all of that. But in the meantime, if you guys have any questions, as I've said already, drop in the comments box below. If you guys are new here, please consider subscribing to my channel. It is gonna help me go a long, long way. And um, yeah, hope you guys are well. We'll see you soon for more content. Take care.